Hi, this is Talmadge Gunther reporting live from the studio saying good evening, Cougars. Tonight we have breaking news about an epidemic that has been sweeping the nation. First starting in 1994 when it first was introduced to us on the TV show Friends. Tonight we're learning about the Friend Zone. We're going back 25 years ago to season one of Friends. You do? I do. Oh, Ross, you're so great. <laughs> when Joey told Ross he no longer had a chance with Rachel. It's never gonna happen. Because he'd been put in the friend zone. What? You and Rachel. <laughs> because you waited too long to make your move and now you're in the friend zone. <laughs> and it seems everyone has been affected by the friend zone. And can be seen in shows Can we talk about this uh, not in front of everyone, Jesse? Comedy sketches. Sends us live via satellite from the friend zone. Hi. Hi, Michael. Um, I'm currently here deep in the friend zone, uh, helping my friend Shannon move into her new apartment. News reports. America's birth rates are declining, with some calling it a national emergency. So how do we reverse the trend? A writer at The Federalist and Lutheran pastor says the answer is tear down the friend zone. Music. You say you love me, I say you crazy. We're nothing more than friends. F R I N D S. Huh? You try to put me in that friend zone. Friend. Don't, don't Movies. Do okay, don't do lunch. Why? That's like the express lane to the friend zone. See, when a girl decides that you're her friend, you're no longer a dating option. You become a complete non sexual entity in her eyes, like her brother. Memes. And even an Instagram account detailing promo friend zone culture has attracted 30,000 followers. For more on this epidemic, which is sweeping the nation and affecting students right here on our very own campus, we're going live to Helen in the SAB. Helen, are you with us? Hey, Thomas. Recently, I caught up some BYU students and, and asked them their opinion about friend zone. In popular culture, the friend zone is a situation in which one member of a friendship wishes to enter into a romantic or sexual relationship while the other does not. According to some psychologists, the man in a cross-gender friendship is more likely to be attracted to his woman friend than she is to him, and he's more likely to overestimate her interest in a romantic or sexual relationship. The person who gets friend zone is called the friend zone. Have you ever been in the friend zone before? I have never been in the friend zone before, no. No, I haven't. You haven't? No, I haven't. <laughs> Ever been in the friend zone? Yes. Uh, yes. How did you react to that? Uh, uh, late night calls to my mother and talking to my other friends about what happened. Uh, I was depressed for about a month. So, Lily, have you ever been in the friend zone? No, I don't think so. Mm. No. I think if someone were to like identify you as their best friend or like, oh, you're such a good friend to me, or like, we could only be friends, then okay. you would know. Would you like to go a little in detail what it was like to be put in the friend zone and to put others in it? Um, to be in the friend zone is kind of awkward because you have feeling towards a person that they don't reciprocate the same feelings towards you. The person who does the friend zoning is referred to as friend zoner. All right, well, have you ever put someone in the friend zone? Yes, I have. And why? why? Why did you put them in the friend zone? I, I just didn't feel right. Like, that person wasn't um, really for me. I put people in the friend zone because I know I don't want a relationship with them. Uh, you just have to move on. It's kind of like uh, addition by subtraction. You take out someone in your life that gives you room to put someone else in. So you kind of have to... Yeah. Place. In most situations um, that I put people in the friend zone, they've been the type of person that I don't want to spend like my life with. Because like when I date, I date long term, so I couldn't see a future with them. So there's no point in dating them. She was crazy. Um, I don't think so. No. Was the feeling kind of weird? 
kind of weird. Vibes wasn't right. So do you think it's possible for people to get out of the friend zone? I do think it's possible if they're really persistent. Just kind of depends on where your friendship is at at a certain time with you and the other person and um, kind of like how it develops over time. What can you do to get out of the friend zone? Um, I would say being funny. Being, being funny. funny. Like being someone like you can hang around with a lot. I think it is possible to stay just friends as long as you guys are always on the same page. As long as you're on the same page and, and that you communicate with each other where you guys are, uh -huh. then it is possible for the two to remain friends. I think it's possible, but it could be very hard depending on how much the person was invested in the other person. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it possible for you guys to actually just be friends or does it usually... Yes. It is? Yes, we're just friends. Good. I'm letting you know we just friends. And That's you it. are friends, like there's no hard feelings, it's all good? I mean, they might be sad, but I'm chilling. So. <laughs> usually relationships do start as friends. Mm -hmm. And so if you are in the friend zone, maybe if you just kind of, you're not too pushy about it, then the person might end up liking you. To be a friend is always a good start because you want to get to know more about the people before you enter into a relationship. But sometimes people may put pressure to others just because one of them expects too much.